hello everyone welcome 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 on back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is jess and today i'm going to be giving you some ideas for things to do on your board we'll have recipes diys and just other ideas um so spring break is coming up that's why i'm making this video if it's not these can be used any time of the year um so without further ado let's get into the video so my first idea for you guys is to try a new hairstyle. Um, for this video, I just did like some French braids in my hair, but you can do whatever you want. You can try getting fancy, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I felt like this could be a fun thing to do if you don't have anything to do. And um, now enjoy me modeling my hair. Yeah, I'm a born model in case you were wondering. <laughs> Did you know that every day there's like a national day? I don't know, but um, like you know when it's like national bread day? I think I'm just hungry, that's why I thought of that. But anyway, today um, was National 3D Day and you can go to this website, nationaldaycalendar.com and today was National 3D Day. So I drew a sphere. Um, in truth, I didn't actually draw this for today. I drew it for an art assignment, but it's an example. Okay, and it happened to be National 3D Day. So I was like, I don't have to draw anything for this video, but you know, um, yeah, like you could just draw a sphere or maybe sculpt it or paint it or whatever. Just use it as like a drawing prompt, whatever national day it is. It'll be like National Huckabee Pie Day or Blueberry Day. And it just gives you a bunch of random objects or things or like ideas that you can do. So next up you can make a mandala and if you want to make it like really pretty and intricate and make it easier um i have this worksheet with multiple circles i just used to sketch them out um i just did multiple but you only need to do one slice and then i cut it out cut it back in graphite um a normal pencil will work well, but this is easier because it's softer and then i cover the back in that and then i put this slice onto a piece of paper and put it on like the edge of the circle and lined it up and then I basically just went over all the lines and you can see barely, but it the lead shows or the graphite transfers and then all the way around the circle did that I used some colored pencils and stuff and the final result is on the screen currently All right, you're gonna start with the strip of paper. Mine is too thick for its um, length. I think if you're gonna make it this thick, you should make it longer, probably. But I think it's fine. It should be about two by 30 centimeters-ish. Um, it doesn't really matter. I just ripped a piece of paper. And I'm gonna take it in my hands like this and make like, um, like those cancer ribbons or like awareness ribbons like that, it should look like. And, but it's gonna go underneath. And then I'm just going to fold this through, like so. Make sure that you're not um, bending this in. And then gently, without pressing it, fold this flap over and tuck it under if you need. And then you should be left with like a pentagon shape with this. And then you're just going to fold it around and if you had more paper you would go this way and then go up and just kind of follow like the grain of the paper i'll link the tutorial down below if that was unclear for you and you're interested in making these they're super easy once you get the hang of it and then you just puff it up and this one i said was too short so it's not gonna look that great but oh it looks awful And here you can see a bunch of different types of paper I use, scrapbook paper, I drew on paper, and yeah, you don't have to just use line paper. Okay, I'm making a candle. 
you know, in a jar. I think this probably had like sauce or like something like that. Not sure. And then um, you need wax. So you could use like an old candle. Um, uh, I have these candlesticks here. Or you can use like a newer one and just like remove the um, wick from it. But I bought this wood wick um from art minds i got this at michael's there's actually six pieces in this and then optional is an essential oil i got this lavender one at trader joe so my plan is to melt this block of wax this is paraffin wax um i bought this at michael's as well this is art mine because i already opened it <laughs> but it's just a block and then i was thinking i could dye it like a light blue screen using these candles that are old and some of used and yeah that was the plan so first i started by chopping up the bits of candle um uh just to kind of remove the wick from it and i made sure not to get those in there and then uh the blocks i wasn't going to chop up but they already had divisions in three bits and I decided I was going to use the whole block for this, and I just put it into my first pot, and then this is a double boiler. You don't need, uh, like, a specific double boiler, but if you just put, like, a measuring, like, Pyrex cup or something into another bowl, just be careful. Um, um, yeah, be careful, guys. Water can be hot. And I just boiled it, and it actually kind of took a while, but I wanted to make sure that everything was fine. And then I had these two pencils here to hold up the wick for after I pour the wax in um and yeah the wax took quite a while to burn or to <laughs> to melt but i poured it in i didn't get any footage because i didn't want to burn my or anything but i got some wax on the edges as you can see here but i think it's fine and then you can see it's starting to harden then this is the finished result <laughs> meant for candle making so that's probably why it's like an off-white color it's like a cool white but this definitely took some time and it definitely is cool and you guys should try up cycling your candles because it was fun um it's fun to do and then it even has this cute metal lid, so I can put it in and it won't get dusty. <clears throat> I should try reading a comic, so I just ordered this from Barnes & Noble. Days ago when it came, I got a comic book. I just watched WandaVision, so I was like, maybe I could read the comic um, behind it, inspired, that inspired it. So I got this, and yeah, they're quite cheap, and you can just order them online, and this could be a fun read for me over spring break. So I don't really read comic books um, or graphic novels in general, so a comic book might be interesting. I feel like having a picnic would be a really fun idea to do it with like some friends. I came out with my sister and we had some avocado toast and it was a good time. Wow, look at this bin of rainbow loom. <laughs> you could definitely try this or even the um, like iron things. Um, just go down memory lane, you know, with some friendship bracelets or you can even do string new embroidery no um i mean you could do embroidery but string friendship bracelets those were a thing i have 
this one. I think this is probably the best one I've ever done. So next up, I'm going to be painting my phone case with some uh, Posca pens. And I have a clear one, so if you have a clear phone case, you can just paint a piece of paper um, and then like slip that in. But I just thought some daisies would be simple and they'd be cute. And then I added some leaves. And then I also off camera added some glitter and this finished result. I don't think I like the glitter, <laughs> but yeah. So the next idea is to paint a silhouette painting. So basically what this is, is it's like at sunset. So you can do whatever colors you want and just do like an ombre here. So I did yellow, orange, and pink for this one, though it looks quite red on camera. I'm not sure why. And then the next one, I did like a cream to um, purple. And then basically you just do a simple ombre. And then once it dries, you can use black to go and paint like the silhouettes. And because it's like at sunset, it looks pretty cool and if you don't have to paint in like a hundred different details and it's just black the things in the foreground you can see i did some grass for this one and then i had like some wheat stalks or something and then i had some mountains on the one with some stars and um i think i did some cactus yeah if you want to see paint tape peeling then check out that video yeah and i added stars on that one then I just peeled off the tape, and that is always super satisfying to do. If you want to see more painted landscapes, check out the iCard link. You can turn these into bookmarks, or just kind of leave it as it is, and it's a fun activity. Okay, so in this clip, I'm not actually eating a homemade mug cake, but I'm going to leave down below a recipe for um, an easy mug cake. And this is um, from this is actually like a molten lava cake from Trader Joe's, but I'll show you in a clip in a second of a mug cake that I made. Um, I wasn't going to take up a ton of time in this video showing you how to make one. I show you how to make another recipe later, but um, yeah, mug cakes are super easy. And if you don't want to make a whole cake, this is a great alternative. Okay guys, my next idea is to try learning ASL just for fun, American Sign Language, or if you don't live in America, then whatever sign language you have. Um, so I just looked up ASL Alphabet Quizlet, and um, then there's all of these, and they have pictures, so it just says A, and then that. Um, and you could also do like Morse code or something if you want, which I think would be pretty cool. I'll pull one up, but this is like free, I think think um but anyway if i just click full screen have a and then you can practice and i don't know it could be kind of fun it's actually not that hard to learn asl my friend took a class and she taught me the alphabet pretty quickly actually um you could watch videos on it it would just be kind of cool the basic if you know the alphabet you can say anything even though it'll take longer but you can just practice signing and that'd be kind of cool um my friend is like really good at signing i used to be able to do the entire alphabet but now i forget <laughs> here's one for morse code i just searched up morse code alphabet um there's probably tons of these you can also just look up a chart and make your own flashcards but look a and then it's and you can just practice tap doing it with your finger So my next idea is to just go outside or go inside, you know, and just take a fun show to photo shoot, like some action pictures. Um, you can see here, I just went around the backyard doing some cartwheels and just making some, doing some fun poses. And it was just pretty fun. I actually just took a video and then screenshotted the moments um, so that like they could be action photos and it's easy to take that way. And this was really fun actually. So I kind of suggest I highly suggest that you try this if you're bored. And is it just me or is it super satisfying to like see the picture and like, I don't know, <laughs> just me? Okay. Okay, y'all, if you don't want to wake up for the sunrise, sunset can be just as pretty. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need four tablespoons of butter. Um, you're going to need one third a cup of half and half, or just regular milk. I think I'm using 2%. You're going to need a third a cup of dried raisins, cranberries, or chocolate chips, two tablespoons of sugar, and two cups of baking mix like Bisquick. Then I'm just going to add all the dry ingredients together, mix them. Now I'm just going to chop the butter and we're going to melt it. Okay, I melted the butter in the microwave and I'm going to preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to add that melted butter and the milk, which can be 2% whole milk, cream, whatever you got, it's fine. Now you're going to spread it out on a lightly floured surface and knead it once or twice. Then I'm going to use a serrated knife. Oh, actually no, you're going to press the dough into a 3 4 inch thick circle and then I put it on the baking sheet with some on a silicone baking mat. Um, and then I'm going to use a knife to cut it into six even triangle shaped scones and then spread them apart. Bake them for 12 minutes until the scones are golden. And this is how they look. They were really good. You can put some butter on them or just have them plain. Again, you can put raisins, chopped cranberries, or added chocolate chips. Next up we're going to make some chocolate bark, so I started by chopping chocolate and putting it into my double boiler again. Then it's all melted. I'm using some dark chocolate, I think this was a chocolate bar, like baking chocolate from Trader Joe's. It's delicious, it's so dark and good. <laughs> then I melted some white chocolate chips in the microwave. You can do the same with the dark chocolate. And then um, I actually filmed this around Christmas time, so I made peppermint bark out of this. But um, you can do this any time of year. So I added some peppermint um, essential oil to the white chocolate, but basically I just put them in a pan together with some baking paper and swirled them together, as you can see here. It's very satisfying to do, and it looks really pretty. And then you can add whatever toppings you want, because it was around Christmas, as I said. I added peppermint shards, but you can add pretzels, popcorn, M&Ms, all those things are good. You can even have nuts or dried fruit. I don't know, just get creative, and it's really delicious and easy to make. Let that chill, and you're good. Next up, you can take some really cool slow-mos. And then my friends and I had fun that day, and you can also take these cool panoramas where you stop it after you've captured the person, and then you go around back behind the camera, and that's how I was able to catch myself twice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you made it this far, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I actually made two more of these in the past. Um, this one's probably the best because those are older videos, but you can still check those out. That'll be up there uh, in the iCard. They'll have some more ideas for you. If you would like me to make more of these videos, I sure will. Um, subscribe for more. Uh, I like to do a lot of baking and crafting around here. Mostly crafting. But um, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Or night. Or morning. Bye!